Hey guys, even here. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the Nick's Strength and Powers Mr. Golden Era competition. So I'm sure all of you know what this is about. This is basically an online competition. Competitors are sending their videos and then the audience is basically deciding who is the winner of the competition. The criteria is a little bit different. It's not about conditioning. It's about the, it's about who has the most genetically pleasing physique, who has the best lines. The best structure like the the golden era bodybuilders from the 70s and the 80s and the 60s and so on so that's what they're looking for i mean that's what nick is looking for so last year the winner was some unknown guy really he didn't really make anything out of it the year before it was vastly Wissers. and i'm pretty sure that last year correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that up until this point it was not allowed for pros to compete in this show but this year pros are also allowed to compete now, as far as the money price, which is basically the topic of this video, Nick said that if donations get up to $5,000, he personally would add additional $5,000 on top of that, and that would make $10,000 for the winner of the Mr. Golden Era competition, which is a lot of money, especially here for Serbia, but in the world, basically, $10,000 is a lot of money. But 18 hours ago, as you can see, he posted this, and I was amazed when I read this. So he says, potentially have a sponsor willing to donate $100,000 to the Mr. Golden Era prize money. Stay tuned, boys. Classic Physique Olympia prize money was $30,000 for first place. Guys, this is a lot of money. This is a lot of money. This is $100,000. This is crazy. I would never expect an online bodybuilding competition to be this huge. And it's open for the pros. It's open for the pros. So, guys, $100,000. This is easy money for Chris Bumstead. This is easy money for Brian Ainsley. Why wouldn't they just show up? I mean, just send their video posing, especially Brian. He's basically lean all year round. And I've been following Chris on his Instagram. He's also very, very lean right now at this point. Arash Bar as well. Why these guys wouldn't send a video and take $100,000? Oh, of course they will do it. This is gonna be like a pro competition, really. This is gonna be a pro show, seriously. I mean, there will be a lot of amateurs as well, I'm sure, who would just like to participate, but uh, the winner is definitely gonna be a pro, because if it actually turns out to be $100,000 for the winner, I mean, top five is gonna be all the pros. I'm sure, I'm sure of that. So it's open for everybody, and... Um, why would anybody let this opportunity go? So now I want to address another thing and uh, many of you asked me this on my DM and on the comments and I'm sure many of you will uh, ask me this before the competition starts. Will I compete? To be completely honest with you guys, if it wasn't open for the pros, I would do it. I would definitely do it because it would be a huge thing for my channel if I won it. But unfortunately, it's open for the pros and the prize money is $100,000. So. I don't see it realistically, me winning it. Of course, if it was for the amateurs, I would have a legit chance, really. But against the pros, nah, it's just, it would be just a waste of money and time. Really, right now I am prepping for 2020, April. I want to win the nationals and then to qualify for the Balkan championships. And then maybe, maybe next year, maybe a year after or in two years, I'm gonna try to win a pro card. But I have a lot of work to do before that happens. And these photos and videos that you're watching right now, this was exactly a year ago, maybe a little bit over a year. So right now I weigh about 60 pounds more than I weigh here. Of course, right now I'm in the off season. So once I'm done with dieting, I'm gonna be much lighter than I am right now, of course, but it's gonna be still bigger than I was last year. And I'm gonna get much, much shredded in this. So this is basically just for you. If you don't know how I look like to get the idea of my physique and of my genetics, really, because this competition is mainly about the genetics, about the proportions, the lines. So I guess I do have a potential, but I would really need to be much bigger, which is maybe, I don't know, maybe I would do good. Maybe I would crack the top five. Depends who, who shows up, really. But, uh, you know, the best part of bodybuilding, the reason why I am actually doing it is because I got hooked uh, on competing. And that's the best part of bodybuilding, being on the stage. And this would mean... I would have to cut, I would have to do a diet just to send a video and the chances are I wouldn't even be, you know, in the top five. So it would be just a waste of money, well, not really money, it's not a problem, but it's about the energy and the effort and I would have to lose weight so I wouldn't look my best in April and that would be like two preps. Okay, I wouldn't have to diet that hard for this show, but 
for the real show, I would have to diet very hard. So I wanted to stay fresh for it. And I basically made my decision. I may change my mind. It's not 100% certain that I'm not going to do it, but I'm probably not going to do it because really the plan is to, you know, win the nationals, win the Balkan championship, maybe, or at least to show up there and then eventually to turn pro. So that's the goal. I want to turn pro. That's my ultimate goal in bodybuilding, in classic physique, of course. Um, winning Nick Strength and Powers with the Golden Era competition is going to grant me <laughs> if I would win it, which is impossible, really, at this point. At $100,000 and a huge exposure with my YouTube channel. But the, honestly, the reason why I made this channel is because I want to make money doing something I honestly enjoy. But the reason why I want to make more money is because I want to invest in bodybuilding. I want to be a bodybuilder, which is really crazy hard from Serbia. Most people are just giving up on it, but I don't want to give up. I want to do it, and that's the reason why I'm doing everything, really. It's all about me competing and becoming a pro and stepping on the Mr. Olympia stage in classic physique. That's the ultimate goal. Is this going to help me do it? Probably not. It would help the channel, so then, therefore, it would help some in some way. You know, it would probably give me more money, more, more viewers, and so on. But uh, I don't think it's a smart decision at this point, and I wouldn't enjoy it, really. I want to compete. I want to step on the stage, and I want to look at my best when I do it. So that's about it for this video, guys. I just want to address this. And I wanted to say it's amazing that Mr. Golden Era competition is having potentially $100,000 uh, prize money. And I wish good luck to all the competitors. But, you know, it's going to be mostly pros, I'm sure. $100,000, if that actually turns out to be real prize money, pros will come. Pros will definitely come because nobody wants to let go of that kind of money, let's be honest. So it's going to be a pro show, really. Anyways, guys, whatever you think about this, tell me down below in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Should I compete or should I skip it? I think I should skip it, at least this year. Maybe next year or the year after. But as for now, I think I'm going to skip it. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. New video is coming up shortly after this one. I'm going to make another one. So, stay tuned. Subscribe. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.